about a wild story right now. It's about a quick thinking woman who saved herself from a robbery by faking a seizure. It turns out it's something she learned by watching TV. And Diana Sato is here with the story. Hey, Diane. Good morning. So anyone who rides the subway has seen some weird stuff. But in this case, even the police say they've never seen anything like this. First, someone slips this woman a threatening note. Then she fakes a seizure to avoid handing over her wallet. Well, now we're hearing from her and a self-defense expert on how we can all stay safe. Julie Draglin says she was on a San Francisco train just messing around on her phone when suddenly a note landed in her lap. I was really scared, probably maybe the most scared I've ever been. The note read, there are two guns pointed at you now. If you want to live, hand back your wallet and phone now. Do not turn around and be discreet. I was actually thinking that I was leaving the country today, and I was like, it's going to be such a logistical nightmare. Too scared to confront the suspect, Draglin decided to fake a seizure. Apparently, her plan worked. Other passengers ran over to make sure she was okay, and the suspect got off at the next stop. So I've worked at BART for 19 years, and this is the first time I've ever heard of anything happening uh, as relayed. Overnight transit police released these surveillance photos of a possible suspect. Fortunately, the victim had the presence of mind to look at the number of the train car and give that information to our, our police officer. So with that information, we were able to download the video and review the video. Draglin says she may have a television show to thank for her quick thinking. It might have been Law and Order. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> Fitness and self-defense expert Jeff Hallaby says while the fake seizure worked for Draglin, he has some more practical tips on how to stay safe. The biggest suggestion I would give is just make noise, yell, say help. That actually really does work. But if things do get physical, try this. What I want you to do is grab my wrist here and then reach back as far, yep, scoot your hips back towards me and, yep, right there but that's exactly what would happen so you know in these scenarios that that's usually you know it's the element of surprise and you only have seconds to really do something which is why you need to train these all right you heard the man you need to train so i think we should do some more training and i think ginger should come and help me out shall we <laughs> <laughs> so we saw what to do when someone grabs you from behind, but there's an even easier way if someone grabs you from the front. So, mm -hmm. Ginger, what I want to do, I'm going to hold the back of your neck because I'm trying to pull towards you. <laughs> okay, well, we decided that's not working. No one here is going to help you. Okay. So you're going to lift this shoulder as high as you can and then uh -huh. just turn that way. And it, it just what? automatically, what, what happens yeah, is the strength was... of your shoulder is pushing against your wrist. And I swear that wasn't it's just like me letting go. It really yeah. works it re every time. And, wow. it, and it works with two with hands as well. Hands. We tried it. With both hands, still, and you it can does. still get away like that? But the, but the twirl yeah. is hard. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Twirl is very hard to beat. Just like that. Wow. You can't right. let go. That's it. Thank you. Here's the thing. thing. He says that, you know, what happens in most of these cases, especially if you're caught off guard, is freeze. that you freeze. Yeah. Yeah. And so he says the biggest thing is to try to avoid this, be aware of your surroundings, don't be buried in your phone, because then you become a target. Well, there's you know. that. Wow. That's good yes. advice. Yeah. Great, Great advice. advice. All right, thank you, Diane. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.